Okay, who wants to be Millenniumaire? Let's go over the rules real quick. If anyone has ever seen the show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, it's similar to that. Except there are a couple of differences to this. So, first up, we have a question. Who wants to be a Millenniumaire? And then we just have the, uh, the answers which come up. And then you just choose which one you want. The correct answer is, uh, is B, of course. Then we have the, the lifeline system over here. 50-50, if you choose this one, here, let's go ahead and remove it. Um, we basically just remove two of the options from here, two of the wrong answers. So these two were now gone, and now you only have these two in order to uh, to pick from. We have call a friend. This one is pretty self-explanatory. You just call up a friend and ask them for an answer. And then we have pull the chat. We just pull the chat and ask them the answer, or we turn on the, the overlay, which allows you to click on the answer on screen. Then we have this life system over here, which is new. Basically, if you get a wrong answer, you just lose one of your lives. And then that answer that you picked goes away. So let's say, for example, we chose um, A for this one. And then it turns out it was, you know, a wrong answer. Then we'd lose one of the lives. And then the A answer would just go away. And then now you only have three options to pick from. So you can brute force an answer with enough lives. We also have ways of getting some of your resources back. If we go over to the prize section, um, every time you get an answer correct, you go up one section. And these are the, the gifts that you get. Once you get over to anything in the red category, this means you recur one of your resources. So if you lost one of your lifelines or one of your life, this is where you would get it back. And once we get to higher spots, you get them back a little bit more readily. So at 5 and 10, you get one back, and then at 12 and 14, you get another one back. So all in all, you get four resources back throughout the course of the game until you get to level 15. And that's basically it. Welcome, everybody. Hi. Today, we have Leah Asimov. It's Leah, right? Yeah, it's Leah. It's Leah. You're finally <laughs> saying it right. <laughs> I keep wanting to say it like Leia, but well, we're going to go <laughs> through <laughs> various things and, and uh, answer questions, Yu-Gi-Oh! related, of course, because this is a Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. First off, let's go over to the scoreboard. We're going to start with the easy questions first. Once we get up to uh, question number five, you'll get one of your expended resources back, and then we'll go from there. Awesome. So, first up, let's start with the first question. This is just the test question. Let's... All right, question number one. What color is the back of Yu-Gi-Oh cards in real life? Is it A, green, <laughs> B, blue, <laughs> C, orange, or D, brown? I, oh, geez, I don't know, guys. I think I think this one might be too hard for me. You can take your time. There's no time limit on this. <laughs> I'm relatively sure that they're brown with like the yellowish around it. Brown. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm a genius. Okay. Right? Would you say brown is your final answer? I would say brown is, yeah, it's my final answer. Okay. <gasps> That's correct. Nice. Okay, cool. I was about to say, if I was that <laughs> fake, like, <laughs> have to graduate. Let's go on to uh, question number two. Oh, first we'll go over to the prize screen and then advance you. You have successfully answered question number one, which means you get uh, 100 bits. Congratulations. Yay! That's like 99 cents. Amazing. Next up, question number two. Mm -hmm. On screen is a lesser known card in the game. Let's show you what this card is. What is the name of this card? Is it A, Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion? B, Ash Blossom and the Joyous of Spring? C, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit? Or D, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries? Oh no, guys. <laughs> Oh uh, wow! You only have this a picture is really... to go off of, and you can't this see its is... name. <laughs> this is really hard. You can really see a little harsh. bit of its bubble, though. <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, B. Ash Blossom and Joyous Feet. 
<gasps> Ash Blossom's Joy's feet? Are you sure? Is this your final answer? Yeah, spring. Jo or Joy's spring feet. Yeah. Okay. That's my fi final answer. Final answer. <gasps> you got it. Nice. Oh, good. I've been I've been screwed over by that card enough times to <laughs> to be uh you know have it permanently burned into my brain. Over here, you have advanced over to one gifted sub, which is equivalent to about two fifty, I believe, in monetary value. Uh, I have no idea. I I think it's like five dollars. Well, I mean, it's it's five dollars, but like the amount you get is like two fifty. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Well, I don't really care about what I get. I just care about um about people oh, it's like having not show. ads. It's fun. That's true. Oh yeah yeah. Sorry sorry sorry. Non ads. <laughs> Question number three. <gasps> okay. The virtual world archetype is proficient in going into synchro monsters of levels divisible by three. What mm -hmm. is the name of the level nine synchro monster in the virtual world archetype? Is it A, virtual world Kieran Lili? B, <gasps> virtual world dragon Long Long? C, virtual world Himei Nyan Nyan? Or is it D, virtual world Kyubi Shen Shen? Oh no, guys. <gasps> I think I know this one. I'm sorry the difficulty of these questions is getting tough, but we are going into the uh, higher questions. This one is so hard. I'm going to say... I'm going to say... D. <gasps> virtual World Cube Shen Shen. D. Virtual World QK Sembe. Is that your final answer? Yeah, that's my final answer. Shen 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 Shen. Okay. <gasps> you did it. Congratulations. Yay! <laughs> thank you, Shen Shen. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> you have advanced on for 750 bits. These oh, are all touchy, cumulative. Touchy, touchy. Oh, wow. Next up, we have question number four. What Greek god is this very popular XYZ <laughs> monster named after? <laughs> Whom is limited to one copy on the Master Dual Band list? Is it A, Norden? B, Poseidon? C, Zeus? Or D, Hercules? Uh, so, uh, I'm gonna say C, Zeus. C. Uh, at least I hope that he is limited to one, because I only have one in my deck, so. Well, is that your final uh, answer? Yes, yes. Kay. Final answer. <laughs> Zeus is correct. He is actually limited to one Yay! copy, and in, ma in Master Duel. In the TCG, he's unlimited. He's unlimited in TCG? How, mu how yeah. expensive is he, though? Uh, I don't think he's that expensive. Really? You can only play one anyway. Oh, yeah, because you're... It's your weird that he's limited in Master Duel in the first place. Well... I think Anyways, it makes sense. Let's okay. advance you over to question number four. Ooh, three gifted subs. Next, we're going to go Yay. into question number five. Remember, okay. question number five is the first threshold. If you get this correct, mm. you get one of your resources back. And also, okay. it's much harder since it's a, uh, a milestone question. Okay. Be prepared. So... Question number five. Which one of these <laughs> cards is a virtual world card? Mm -hmm. Is it A, Gigi, B, Vishuda, C, Moye, or D, Suwani? Okay, so let's go, let's go through this. Let's go, let's go through this. So I've never heard of Suwani in my life. Uh-huh. Uh, Which means it might be a virtual world card you never heard of. Uh, so I'm pretty sh I'm pretty sure all of them are in the game, right? Yes, all of these ones are currently available in the Master Duel. Oh no, I meant all of the Virtual World cards are already in the game. Yes, so, all um, Virtual World cards are in also in Master Duel too. Okay. That'll be important for a future question. Oh no. Okay. Uh, I have never heard of Moye either. Mm-hmm. But I do a think. World card. No, it's it's not a virtual world card. It would yeah. Uh, so a GG GG is the little monkey boy. Maybe. Yes. So it's A. Oh, okay. He's, hey, he's are, are you sure? Is that your final answer? Yeah, I'm pos I'm positive. I'm positive. I'm so sure. You are correct. It is it is GG. The shooter is a is a Tenyi. Moye is a sword soul. And Suwani is a uh Gengzing. Anyways, let's go over. You have reached the first milestone, and you haven't Yay. had to use any of your lifelines yet. I'm so smart! So, because you reached over here, we'll just give you one extra life. Boop. Yay! Yeah, you have five. 
Thank you. One okay, extra now, life. That will be useful. Question number six. <laughs> so, Virtual World Gate, Zuanwu, has a graveyard effect that allows you to special summon a virtual world monster from your graveyard. What is its on field effect? Is it A, change the battle position of a monster? <laughs> B, banish one card from your opponent's graveyard? C, return one spell or trap card in the field to the hand? Or D, negate one attack of a monster? I mean, how much, how much longer do you want me to take on these questions if I know the answers? Do you want me to go through? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can just answer it immediately if you The think answer they're... is A, change the battle position of that monster. Is, is that your final answer? That is my final answer. Okay. <sighs> You're correct. It is. Yeah. That would have been so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> this effect is hardly ever used, though. Usually it's just used for its graveyard effect. Yeah, yeah. Wow, Yay! Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. And then we'll go over to the hardest question. Hard number six. Question number seven. The level 8 monster Evil Twin Kiskili and Leela is a main deck boss monster that can special summon itself from your hand or graveyard by tributing two link monsters. It also has an effect that triggers immediately upon its special summon. Oh, what shit. is this effect? Uh, okay. Is it A, destroy two cards in the field? B, discard two cards from your opponent's hand? C, special summon two monsters from your graveyard? Or D, force your opponent to only control two cards? Oh gosh. Um, so this Remember, is actually- you can answer it as fast as you want if it's, if it's easy for you. No, so this is actually hard. <laughs> 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 this is the first time that I have to think. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's D, but I, um, I might, uh, I might need to use the, I might need to use a, like a, maybe we could pull the chat. I don't know. Wait, how many, how chat? far? How f how many questions are there? How far are we? And I need to like n know how to how to gate my resources. You are okay. on question number seven. Okay. You get three more resources back. You know once you get okay. to the higher spots. Yeah. Um, I think I think it's D, but I don't want to be wrong. So can we can we can we pull the chat? We sure can. <laughs> and However, for that reason, it seems seventy six percent of chat has decided for D. Yeah, and for that reason, I choose D as my final answer. Okay, we yeah. have a D. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this is correct. <laughs> You're correct. It is oh. D. Oh. It's okay, kind of like cool. a, a reverse um, <laughs> evenly matched. Your opponent's only allowed to control two monsters, so it can actually get rid of some uh, powerful monsters like Ultimate Fountain. Yeah. Oh, that okay. would have been useful yesterday. Yeah, I mean, your opponent gets to choose which cards they send, so probably mm -hmm. wouldn't send Ultimate Falcon unless they had, like, three of them. Yeah. Okie dokie, let's go over to... Oh, you advanced over. You got question seven correct. That was Yay. a little bit too easy, probably. You are at six gifted subs and 2,000 bits. Mm -hmm. Question number eight. How many main deck virtual world monsters are there? Mm -hmm. Just to note, Master Duel does have every single main deck virtual world monster added to its database. So... Okay. Is it A, 9, B, 7, C, 6, or D, 5? Okay, so let's count them out. There's, uh, there's Lulu. Lulu. Uh, there's Toto. And then there's Nyan Nyan. Those are the girlies. Those yeah. are the, those are the girlies. Lulu, Toto, Nyan Nyan. Nyan. Then you have, um... You have Roshi, mm -hmm. who is the other humanoid. And then you have Gigi, which is the little monkey boy. Yeah, Gigi was an earlier you, question. And then you have Lily, which is another, like, dog-ish. Yeah. And I think... I think that's it. So... I think that's it. So you listed off uh, six of them. Six. Six. I think it's six, but let me let me think let me think a little bit harder. Is it six? Uh, no, that was just on from last time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it could be six. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's. <laughs> okay. 
Um, so we're going to say six is your final answer? Yes. Okay. Is it six? It is. Okay, cool. <laughs> there are six main deck virtual world monsters. Congratulations. Yay. These are too easy for you. We will advance over. So next up, question number nine. How many virtual world spell or trap cards have virtual world gate in their name? Is it A, two, B, three, C, four, or D, five? Um, I believe, so you have what? You have Kualun, Xing Long, Shan Wu, and Shush. And those are all of the gates. Those are all all of the, I think all of the spell cards and the trap cards for Virtual World have Virtual World Gate as their name. Maybe. So four. Okay. Yes, so, four. We go over to C. You think it's four. Is yes. this your final answer? If it's not, then I will, uh, I will stop playing Virtual World. Okay. Is it four? <laughs> I'm not actually going to stop playing Virtual World. I'm not going to stop playing <laughs> Virtual World. It was a lie. I was, I was goofing. I was goofing, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it is no. not for. However, oh, no. <laughs> only thing that happens is you lose one of your lives. You have four more. I'm not a woman of my word. I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> I take it back. I take it back. At least you know it's not C. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's B. Oh, B. Three. Yeah. Is that your final answer? Yes. Okay. Correct. Okay. It is. You see, there are four virtual world spell wrong. traps. It's just one yeah. of them does not have virtual world gate in its name. Which one is it? Which one doesn't it's have it? It's the one that searches the other virtual world gate cards. Kualun? Yeah. The funny thing is, the card has an effect which activates if you have four virtual world gate cards on your field. Yeah, and but it there's activates only three of them. No, no. So it, it activates if you have wait. If it's like more than two. No, it has multiple effects based on how many you have. Yeah, but yeah, if yeah. If you have four, it has an additional effect. But there's only three different named ones. However, you can't so, have four in the field. It's just two are going to be the same name. We're you got question nine correct. Ooh, that means question ten. This is going to be mm -hmm. difficult since it's a milestone question. Okay. So, virtual world gate shell Jaja. This oh, monster no. has an effect to detach one of its materials in order to prevent a monster from being destroyed by battle or card effects. For how long does this protection last? Mm. Is it A, until the end of your turn? B, until the end of your opponent's turn? C, until it would be destroyed at any time? Or D, for as long as it has XYZ materials? Uh, oof. Wait, so how does a milestone work? Do I get my resources back after this question? Um, once you get the milestone, you can get one of your resources back, which means you can get pulled the chat back, or any of your lifelines, or a health, if you don't have any lifelines expended. Uh... Hmm. Okay. So, I'm gonna be completely honest. Mm -hmm. I never use this turtle. Yeah, no one does. I forgot Garbage. that the turtle existed, kind of. Yeah, it's terrible. Um, Yeah. I used it in NR Fest, but... Um, it is a I also, card. I also only played, like, two games in NR Fest because it frustrated me, because <laughs> this card wasn't good. <laughs> to be fair, NR Fest frustrated me as well. Um... Uh... Can I, can I do, oh, well, okay. I think, I think, uh, Would you like to use one of your lifelines? I think I'm gonna use a lifeline. Can okay, I, which one? Can I do 50-50? Of course. We will expend 50-50. Okay. And then we will remove two questions that it is not. <laughs> It is not A or D. Okay. So. I. You have B and C left. 
I think... I think it's C. Until it would be destroyed one time? Yes, I think it's C. Okay, is that your final answer? Yeah, I, th- I think I think it's I think it's C. It's my final All answer. right. Yep. Until it would be destroyed one time. This is the correct answer. Oh, oh no! It is not. Oh no! Oh. Okay. Well, then I think B is the answer. <laughs> Yeah, we only have B left. <laughs> That's a hard question. <laughs> no, no. I mean, it is a milestone question. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 fair. Okay, so let's go back over to this. You have ex- gone over to the 10. Congratulations. What? what lifeline would you like to recover? I think... Uh, I think... I'll recover. Mm, pull the chat because fifty-fifty didn't really help me there. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I thought the fifty-fifty was uh, incredibly helpful. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. <laughs> because the one left was a uh, was a uh, was just uh, nonsense. Yeah. to be honest. So I was you like, think oh, it sounded that? Well, I guess I guess the Jaja is bad. So it would be much better if that, if it was until it was destroyed one time. That's true. That that would make it a lot better. Yeah. I had more faith in my archetype. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the spell speed one protection. Usually those aren't very good. Okay, yeah. so you have pulled the chat back at least. Um, yeah. Since we are done with question ten, we will be going on a short little reprieve so we can get water and do other things. And while we do that, I guess we'll just go over to some, uh, commercials. Hello, it is me, the Duologues. I'm a psychic spider who lives on the moon. You may be wondering, hey, how are you able to pay for all of these, um, wonderful prizes in the Today's Game Show? Well, I'm here to tell you that today's sponsors are viewers like you. Thank you for your bits and your subscriptions. And stop sending me money. You don't need to send me anything but these are going directly into paying these people so this is where your guys' money is going you can stop sending me subs now thank you anyways let's get back to the show okay how do do we turn this off i'm also a psychic spider i I forgot to mention and we're back question number 11. oh i have to change the music we have to go to the high intense music the final five questions are the hardest okay Okay. It's just the same music, except it has a, a faster heartbeat on it. Okay. Question number 11. Are you ready? Have you prepared yeah. yourself? These are going uh, to be super hard. So let me, let me take a moment to emotionally prepare myself. Okay. For emotional damage. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Let's get started. Okay. Number 11. Virtual World Gate, Otehime, Toto can special summon themselves from your hand. If you control no monsters, or if all the monsters you control are of what two monster types? Is it A, Psychic and Dragon? Mm. B, Psychic and Beast? C, Worm and Dragon? Or D, Worm and Psychic? Uh... I thought... The only time I've ever played this card. Wait, or if you no, wait. It's not very heavily. So it's not. Yeah. So this it can't be. I feel like it's not. It can't be D because if it was, then I could do this all the time. Mm. Because every. No, I can't do this all. I can't do this all the time, can I? I don't know. I I can't do this all the time. Or maybe you can do it all the time and you just have No, to. I are you gaslighting me? <laughs> no. <laughs> of course not. I'm giving helpful non uh, advice. Non committal advice. Or if all the monsters you control are of what two types? Reading comprehension here. Reading comprehension here. Hmm. It has two conditions uh, for its summon. 
no monsters, or if only the monsters or, you control are two types only. Two types, two types only. Do I, I don't think I ever, no, because, so Lulu is a psychic. Perhaps. And Lily is a worm. And if I have both of those on the field, I can't, I can't, um, oh, uh, um, would you like to um, use coin? You get them back every two questions on the final stretch. Yeah, I'll use, I'll use a lifeline. Okay. Call a friend I, or pull the chat. I'm going to, I'm going to switch it up and call a friend because uh, I don't think ch I think chat's going to try to gaslight me right now yeah, to be honest probably. I don't know if I trust them um, chat, chat's uh, uh, pretty knowledgeable to an extent let's go ahead and call a friend you have someone ready uh, I do uh, the Prince Princeolo my mod <laughs> okay go ahead and drag him in chat um, let me let me at him <gasps> hey we have Prince Hello. in here my friends, oh. I need help. Hello there, I'm Prince. Here. How, How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about you? Excellent. We're all doing very good here. We're answering just some Yu-Gi-Oh questions. Are you currently watching the stream? I was, yes. Okay, so this would make things easy. So, Lay over here needs some help with answering this question. Do you, by any chance, um, know which two types of monsters you're allowed to have on the field in order to special summon Virtual World Ota Hime Toto to the field from your hand? I sure do. As a, as a, uh, it's. Uh, I think it's both, yeah. But uh, as a fellow virtual world player who owns a Royal Rear Shen Shen, uh, I believe the answer is Worm and Psychic, otherwise known as D. I got you, homie. Okay. Okay. So he has given you the, the the suggestion that it is D. Okay. I'll go ahead and highlight on screen that for you. Yeah. Okay. Um. So Would you like, like to go for that. I. It, this feels too convenient that it seems wrong. <sighs> Sometimes. You know? I promise you. You have to you go You promise me? I, you I promise am. me? Who, was, who bet 10k on you? <laughs> 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 I would never gaslight the homies. Okay. Okay. I will I mean, trust Sometimes Prince. if something's too obvious, then that's not the correct answer. You know, as Sherlock Holmes always said, uh, if, if things seem too improbable, then whatever is the easiest is definitely true but maybe True. sometimes not. Okay, well, let's just go with it, because otherwise I'm going to drag this out for as long as physically possible, so... so. All right, <laughs> D. Let's see. Is the correct answer D? Is it Worm and Psychic? We have... A correct answer. Good job. Uh, uh, it is Worm and Psychic. Thank you, Prince Yolo. I got you, Thank homie. you. <laughs> okay. We love the homies here. <laughs> Congratulations, your call a friend thing has definitely pulled through. You have advanced over to question 11. Amazing. Well, I mean, that was question 11. We're going to go over to question 12. Yeah, next. yeah. Okay, and you still have a lifeline and three health points. You're good yeah. to go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go over to question number 12. Question number 12. Emergency Teleport is a quick play spell card which summons a level 3 or lower psychic type monster from your hand or deck. What is the restriction that this card has? Is it A, you can only special summon psychic type monsters for the rest of this turn? B, you can only summon level 3 or higher monsters for the rest of the turn? C, the monster summoned is banished during the end phase of the turn? Or is it D, the monster summoned cannot be used as a link material this turn? I know this one. This one I know. This one I know. This one I know. C. The monster is banished at the end of the turn. Okay. Are, are you sure about that? I'm positive. Okay. So final answer. Yes. Yeah, that's my final answer. Yes. C. C. Okay. C. So let's see if it is C. The monster summoned is banished during the end phase of the turn. Okay. Uh, yay. You got it correct. <laughs> I did it! I did it, guys! Yes, the card is also not even once per turn, which is why it's historically been limited and semi-limited. It's, it's too... Yeah, it's limited the, the to two The restriction is not even really a restriction. Well... Because usually you're going to use the monster as a material immediately. Yeah, that's true. Then you have advanced over to 
<gasps> 12 gifted subs Yay! as well as a milestone. This allows you to get one of your lifeline backs, which you'll probably need for these last couple of questions. Yeah. Just remember, you are allowed to use multiple lifelines per question. Okay. That'll probably be relevant. So, what do you want back? Okay. Do you want 50-50? Call a friend? Um, I want call a friend back. I... Okay. Trust in the homie. <laughs> <laughs> you have recurred. Call a friend. <laughs> Let's okay. move on to question number 13. 13. Your opponent tries to use Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion in their hand, which is a hand trap that can only negate the effects of cards that move cards in the graveyard somewhere else. Mm -hmm. You activate the effect of Virtual World Roshi Lao Lao, which... Uh, but... In this game state, you don't have any virtual world monsters in your graveyard. So what happens? Here's the two cards that are being mentioned. Yeah. Are you familiar with both of them? Yeah. So, I mean, so Lao Lao... Um, wait, do you want to present the answers first before yes, I start talking about Lao Lao? Yes, let's go to the answers Lao Lao. <laughs> We have... Is it... Uh, a. The effect of Roshi is negated. B. Your opponent cannot use Ghost Spell on Roshi. C. Your opponent can use Ghost Spell, but the effect fizzles out since Roshi has no targets. Or D, you cannot normal summon unless, uh, you cannot summon Roshi unless you have a monster in your graveyard. So this forgets the first part of Roshi. The first part of Roshi is that he sends, you, so you target a monster on, a, a card on the field that is virtual world. And Correct. you send a card of a different type to the graveyard. Yes. The second part happens after he's already summoned. Correct. So he, he gets summoned to the field. However, it is all part of the same effect. Which means you can use it even while skill drains on the field and summon a monster from the graveyard. I'm going to be completely honest, Dual Logs. That sentence you just said to me means absolutely nothing. <laughs> the effect activates in the hand and not on the field and performs multiple actions simultaneously. Okay. So, pretty easy, uh... right? And then we'd ease you into the harder questions with this. So then, so it, it, it works similar to an Ash Blossom then? Yes. Just think of it like so... Ash Blossom, but for moving cards out of the graveyard. So it's A. Okay. The effect of Roshi is negated. Is this your final answer? I I think so. Okay. Is it A? <laughs> it is. <sighs> you can negate it even if there's no targets because it just it only cares if it's possible to do something in the graveyard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't really matter if you can actually do it. Okay. Excellent. Let's move over to, ooh, the next one. You are now up to 8,000 bits and 12 gifted subs, and you only have two more questions left. That's a lot of bits. Yeah, it's, it's like it's it's like pocket change. It's, it's enough. <laughs> it's enough to be exciting, but not enough where it's going to uh, break the sponsor's banks. Okay. So let's go on to mm. question number 14. 14. You activate the effect of Virtual World My Hime Lulu from your hand, which allows you to special summon a card by sending a Virtual World card from your deck to the graveyard, mm -hmm. and then search out a different Virtual World card of a different type. However, it then locks you into only so many monsters that are level or rank 3 or higher for the rest of this turn. Your opponent uses Ash Blossom and Joy Spring to negate the effect. What happens afterwards? Is it A? You are still locked into summoning only level 3 or rank 3 higher monsters for the rest of this turn, even though the effect was negated. B. You are not locked into summoning only level 3 or rank 3 monsters for the rest of this turn. C. You can just use the effect again since Lulu is not destroyed and is still in your hand after the negate. Or D. Ash Blossom cannot negate Lulu's effect, so it actually goes through. Um, my initial thought uh, so this has happened so many times to me, right? Um, mm -hmm. But I, I've never cared. So that means that um, so <laughs> I've never cared. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
so that it just means that um, it's it's negated. Uh, you, but the effect can only happen once per turn. So if the effect yep. was negated, you can't use it again. Um, That's possible. But I've been able to special summon. I believe I've been able to special summon monsters that were level six immediately after this has been negated. So, mm -hmm. so well, the restriction my, is for level three or lower. So you should be able to summon six. Level three or lower. Yeah, level or rank three or lower. That's the restriction on all virtual world monsters. This is why you can't go into link monsters or levels one or two. The question is, uh, does the oh, restriction... I've never, I've never had a level, a level. Yeah, most one virtual players don't monsters. play those cards because you wouldn't <laughs> be able to use them anyway. <laughs> but assuming you had a fact veiler in your hand who was level one, would you be able to normal summon it after this? <laughs> but the Ash Blossom doesn't work because it can't negate Lulu's effect. Ah. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to use a lifeline? Oh, how many questions are there left? There's... Uh, there's only one more question after this. The final question. The final qu Okay. Um, let's, uh, let's pull the chat. Okay. We will pull let's the chat. pull the chat. Come on, guys. Come through for me, okay? I need this. Ooh, I'm, I'm seeing <laughs> chat, and it seems like a lot of them have the wrong answer. What? But some of them have the right answer. Oh, no. Oh no. oh no! I'm sure it'll all be good. How, how, how do battle stages work? I didn't finish. I didn't finish the tutorial. Too long. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new tutorial. I didn't finish it yet. Oh no! You might want to have your rulings on damage <laughs> step up to to date for the next question. Oh no! Oh no. Oh, there's 10 more seconds left before they get an answer. Okay, so the winner is B with 59% of the vote. You are not locked into summoning only level or rank three or higher monsters for the rest of the turn. I'll highlight that for you. Okay. However, 32% said A. The other two, uh, C and D, had much lower representation. So, okay. I. That 32% could just be very smart people. It could. It could be. Or maybe they just don't know their rulings that well. Or maybe it's not... Maybe it's not that complex. Maybe... May, uh... Uh... <laughs> um, okay. Uh... <laughs> let's... You're let's right. Let's Chat go is uh, notoriously bad at backseating because uh, lots of people are very confident in their wrong answers. My guess. Let's pick A. Let's a? pick A. Let's pick A. Because All I right. think that I'm wrong, and I don't trust myself. So okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick A. <laughs> I'm gonna so, pick A. You have decided on A. Would you say yeah. that is your final answer? Are you sure about this? <laughs> it's gotta be my final answer. <laughs> okay, let's see if it is A. Is the answer A? Oh, this is so... Oh. Oh, unfortunately, it's not. You lose one of your lives. Oh, no! At least you okay. found out that it's not A. Okay, so it's B. Oh, you're gonna go with B? Are you sure about yeah, that? Yeah, my, B is my final answer. Okay, let's see if it's B. It is! Oh my god. If the effect is negated, then you're not locked into anything. However, there are some cards in which this is the case. <laughs> which is why chat was probably confused. <laughs> Except those ones say, um, if the effect, you know, it happens irregardless of the effect resolving. However, my Hime Lulu, it all happens at the same time. Uh... It sends, it specials, it searches, and locks you out. Mm -hmm. Whereas most other things don't really do that. Virtual worlds are more of a modern archetype in there. They're created a yeah. lot more friendly for that. Mm. Okay, so you did it. You made it I to did it. 
Question 14. You get back one of your lifelines. You're at 16 Amazing. gifted subs and 8,000 bits. Which okay. one of your lifelines would you like to re to to recuperate? I'll I'll recoup. Well, how how hard is the last question? It's uh, if you thought that one was hard, the next one is gonna stump even chat. Well, if chat's not gonna get it, I'll choose fifty fifty. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You will get back fifty fifty. Let's go on to the <laughs> final question. <laughs> Question yeah. number 15. Mm -hmm. Let's open it up. So, for this one, Imperial Iron Wall is a trap card with the effect where neither player can banish cards while it's face up on the field. Okay. If you control a virtual world Kyubi Shen Shen and attack into one of your opponent's monsters, what happens to that monster, assuming you are able to destroy it? Is it A, the monster goes to the graveyard? B, the monster is banished. C, the monster cannot be destroyed. Or is it D, the monster returns to the deck? Remember, Virtual World Kyubi Shen Shen has an effect where all cards on the field are banished instead of going to the graveyard. Whereas Imperial Iron Wall has the effect where all neither player can banish cards. Okay. So, but it's not the player banishing the card. Correct. Or is it? It. It's the Shen Shen banishing the card. Yeah. Shen Shen uh, um, has a floodgate-like effect where all cards in the field are just sent to the graveyard instead, regardless of if it destroys them or not. Yeah. Um. Okay. So can can we get can we can, um uh, immediately immediately fifty fifty immediately fifty fifty please. <laughs> immediately fifty fifty. Immediately immediately fifty fifty. <laughs> okay. We're yeah. going to expend 50-50. C or D? Okay. Uh... So your only questions left are uh, answers, excuse me. Or the monster goes to the graveyard, or the monster is banished. Uh, can I read Shen Shen? Sure, I'll make Shen Shen much bigger. Okay, so let's think about, let's think this through, guys. Let's think this through, guys. So, Imperial Iron Wall is a Want trap to read card. Imperial Iron Wall as well? It's not a continuous trap card. It is a continuous trap card. It is a continuous trap card. I was wrong. Um, so, it is a continuous trap card. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh,. Hmm. 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 It's a difficult gonna, one, right? Yeah, it's really hard. This is really hard. I don't even know how they decide this, honestly. Like, who makes up who makes up how this reading comprehension plays out in the actual game? Like, you'd have a judge come and like, like tell you what's going on, right? Yeah, they do have judges exactly for these kinds of scenarios. Yeah. Because it, it's all in the semantics, like you know the difference with Zeus mm -hmm. and destroying and sending to yeah. the graveyard. Yeah. Uh, so I think I I'm thinking real hard. It's pretty hard for me to think. Um, I think A. I a? think it's A. Uh, I think it's A. Uh, Monster but, goes to the graveyard, even though Shen Shen has the ability that banishes all cards. This is the final question, right? Yep. Would you like to call um, a friend? Uh, yeah, I might as well. I might as well call a friend. Prince Yolo, please. Okay. <laughs> please Go help. ahead and uh, bring in Prince Yolo again. <laughs> Prince Yolo. <laughs> Let's see if he's Prince. available. There Hi, he Prince is. Yolo. <laughs> Hello there. How Howdy. does this work? <laughs> okay. Are you aware good. of the question which was asked on chat? On I sure am. Yep. Okay. So, do you know... Which effect supersedes the other? Is it A or B? Does the monster go to the graveyard or is the monster banished? It is A. You, you were right, Leia. You, you got I it. was right? Yeah, oh. you were right. Do you oh. have any reasonings for this? Uh, you know, uh, as an invoked player, I'll be funny and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll throw on Imperial Iron Wall against the Eldritch players occasionally to be funny. I know it hurts my deck. 
but uh, oh, like so you're aware in. of the uh, Imperial Iron Wall rulings, then? Yep. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, someone who says he is an expert, uh, he knows more than anyone about Imperial Iron Wall, has said that it is probably a. Well, I trust I trust Prince Yolo with um with my with my Discord server and uh and my life points. So <laughs> ah, let's let's go with A. Let's okay. go with A. Let's go with A. You have decided on A as your final <laughs> answer. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. go ahead and uh, remove uh, Prince Yolo from chat. So thank you for the call. You were much appreciated. Just in case. Well, the thing is, you have two lives left. So even if you get this wrong, you're yeah. still going to win by default. So. By design. Is the answer A, the monster goes to the graveyard. Oh, first let me remove your last lifeline. Mm -hmm. Does the monster go to the graveyard? The answer is unfortunately oh, correct. Oh, yay! You got it. You see, Imperial yay. Iron Wall supersedes other monsters and cards' effects because it affects the players where Shen Shen Directly. affects oh. fields and stuff. It's, oh. I, I don't know why that works, but it does. <laughs> it's oh, just so because you need Imperial to think Iron of the Wall player is, is unique as its in these own, kinds of ruling cases. It as even, its own agent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it agent. even like stops macrocosmos and dimensional fissure. So of course it's going to oh. stop as well. So it's like a pretty good card. Yeah, it is actually. It's a pretty decent huh. floodgate against a lot of different decks. That's why I but, would just I would just shoo shit. Yeah, exactly. It's like yeah. prime. You want to destroy this card immediately. It instantly wins yeah. against dinosaur decks, for example. Oh, I'll need to remember that for later. Okay, yeah. so with this, you have advanced to. The final round. Okay. Well, not the final round. That was the final question. You, that was you the final question. Yeah, we win. Yay! You did it. You got all the way up to 15. You have won the grand total prize of uh, 10,000 bits. Amazing. And 20 gifted subs. Wow. I'm sure you're very happy about that. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> this was so much fun. I I am surprised I, I almost gave up Virtual World. Um, because I got the gate wrong question. <laughs> <laughs> the gate question wrong. <laughs> well, I mean, the gate one is, is kind of a trick question because there are four virtual world yeah. spell traps and they all interact you'd with think virtual world gate. Yeah, you'd think they'd all be gates. Yeah, right? But yeah. Okay, so anyways, yeah. that's the end of that. That was the game show. Everybody should go um, follow Leah Azimuth. It's Leah, right? Yeah, Leah. <laughs> <laughs> We've known each other for like, for like a month and a half. I'm sorry. <laughs> she still can't remember how to say my name. Yeah, come, come, uh, come follow me and uh, play Master Duel with me. We play Master Duel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. We'll end it here. Do you have anything else you want to say, Leah? Uh, well, um, can I plug my lore debut day? Oh. Can, I, can I plug? Oh, yeah, I have. Of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, August twenty eighth, um, August twenty eighth, I will be doing my lore debut. I'm a pre debut VTuber, even though I stream three days a week regularly as a VTuber. <laughs> yeah, with a professional looking model. Um, I He's haven't. An I haven't VTuber debuted yet. Unlike me. <laughs> one day, one day you'll be an actual VTuber, just like me, Duologs. I believe well, in I mean, you. <laughs> I don't need to be. I just turn on my face cam and people think it's a, mm -hmm. it's a VTube model. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The one you use in uh, in VTube Studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one? No, that's that's just my... Oh, that's just I your just, face. I just do that as a, as a joke. <laughs> it's a big, it's a goof and a gaff. With a green screen? With a green screen. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to go all out for my jokes. Oh, oh so committed, you know so committed. Is. Yeah. Um, anyway, August 28th, put it on your calendars, put it on your calendars. Um, uh, I'm going to be doing a, my debut. There's going to be a uh, lore and um, probably a Master Duel tournament, among other things. Yeah, um, that sounds fun. And uh, also follow me on, on Twitch and Twitter if you liked me. If you didn't like me, then you don't need to. That's okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to your, to your oh, and the other thing, the other thing is, I, I only need like, I only need like twenty more followers on YouTube to get to get a URL that doesn't look like crap. Wait, how many do you need for that? <laughs> I only need like twenty. You only need a hundred, a hundred, uh, hundred followers on YouTube to not have a yeah. have a, a URL that looks like Garbo. Um, 
<laughs> anyway, I only need like 20 more. Oh yeah, I don't uh, let anyone post any links. In fact, I'm surprised there's people who let people post links in their chat. Are they crazy? Yeah, I don't understand that. I don't let people post links either because that's how you get bots. Yeah. <laughs> We're just people <laughs> sending you weird sh I mean, weird, weird stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Not, not that yeah. my chat would ever do that. You guys are, are lovely people who don't do anything wrong except knife. <laughs>